So here I have rationalized the denominator using conjugates. So now we have bino binomials in our denominator. And if you remember from the conjugates topic, every time we multiplied the conjugates together, we ended up with an expression that didn't have any more square roots in it, okay? Every single time we did that. So then our best bet to get rid of a square root of a binomial is to multiply by its conjugate and then we would end up with a, an expression that doesn't have any square roots in it. So remember that what a conjugate is. It means the terms stay exactly the same, but the opposite sign is in the middle. So whatever I do to the bottom, I have to do the same thing to the top. So for the top, I'm literally just distributing, and that's it. So I get negative 15 and negative 6 square root of 2. For the bottom, I have to FOIL it out, right? So 5 times 5 is 25. 5 times 2 square root of 2 is positive 10 square root of 2. Then negative, so negative 10 square root of 2. And then finally, this times this. So negative 2 times positive 2 is negative 4. And then the square root of 2 times 2, which is 4. And so let's simplify that and see what it looks like. I end up with 25, these two guys will cancel, and minus 4 times 2 because the square root of 4 is 2. So that's 25 minus 8. And so I get negative 15 minus 6 square root of 2 over 17. Now if these could be reduced, I would have split the fraction kept going but 17 is prime so it's not going to reduce with negative 15 or negative 6 so that is the final answer there same thing for this if I have a plus sign in the middle it's the same I'm going to take the first term the same the second term the same and then change the plus to a minus whatever I do to the bottom I have to do the exact same thing to the top so on the top I'm going to distribute I get 18 square root of 3 minus 18 the bottom I'm going to FOIL. So uh, 2 times 2 is 4. So 4 square root of 9. Here we go. Negative 4 square root of 3. These two, positive 4 square root of 3. And then these two, a minus 4. So I get 18 square root of 3 minus 18 over 4 times 3. These will cancel minus 4. So 18 square root of 3 minus 18 over 12 minus 4. So that simplifies into 8 in the denominator. Now these will reduce, so I do have to keep going. So if I separate this fraction, I can reduce these by 2, so I get 9 square root of 3 over 4. And I can reduce these by 2, and I get 9 over 4. And this is the final answer after it's been reduced as much as possible.